Hello, my name is Teacher Bell and welcome to another tips, review, and tutorial. So today, we're gonna deep dive into these three best free whiteboard apps to help you decide which best suits your preference and context of instruction. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell. So for today, I will be comparing the unique features of Canvas, Jamboard, and Zeitboard and how you can efficiently present these apps in Google Meet. There are so many great whiteboards out there as well, but some are not free. Some also are free but lacks the essential features of online teaching. So what makes a great online board? So as a teacher, I'm looking for a collaboration feature and the ability to attach files so we can make different activities. Let's first start with Canvas. Now in order for you to access Canvas, you need to go to canvas.apps.chrome. It does insert image. It has a board gallery where you can save your images but only to your computer. There is no collaboration for this one and there are no drag and drop as well. If you want to create a new board, click, click on this one, new drawing. So you have the color, you have the size, you have the pen. These are the different brushes you can use. Of course, the eraser. This one, so let's say, let's try one. And then you can erase it. If you want to make another whiteboard, you can also insert an image. Click your image and it will appear here. Now a while ago, I told you you cannot do drag and drop because the feature of this whiteboard is that you can only insert one image on one board. The only thing you can do is to annotate it. Okay, surface run on and evaporation. And when you go back to your home, if you click on the three dots, you can rename so multiplication practice okay you can save image but it will save on your computer now since it doesn't have a collaboration feature meaning your students cannot put their inputs in here you can just share this to your google meet present a chrome tab so you can share the tab of your online board and then choose the board you are presenting and then share now, this is where the dual less extension comes in. I usually use the dual less extension so that I can see my students in the Google Meet tab while navigating through my whiteboard. Click on the window splitter extension, which is this one. Of course, you have to install this first. I'll put the link down below. Whatever tab you want to separate, then you have to click on that first before you click on the split screen and then choose this option so you can see it half half while you annotate you can see it on your students that's how the dual less works and if you are done presenting click back the split extension and choose one window and of course you stop your presentation the next one is Jamboard for you to access this one you need to go to jamboard.google.com it works on desktop and iPad now if you want this whiteboard to work with your student also you can go ahead and tell them to install the Jamboard app on their iPads the best part of it is it automatically saves in your drive when you click save it also has laser tools you can insert a background it has a collaboration tool and it has a drag and drop feature because you can insert as many images as you want okay, click on the plus sign and it will create a new board now the best part of this is you can have many pages in one whiteboard so you have the pen eraser the select the sticky notes you can use the sticky note for reminders oh, and you can also edit it anytime equals blank 
Now you also have the option to insert image of course and it has the laser tool which let you highlight something but it's just temporary. Okay, that's the cool thing about that. If I want another activity, so this is an example of a drag and drop activity which Canvas do not have. So you go to image, add image, and you can directly search from the web. So let's say letter B. And if you want to make it more fancy, you can change the background. Let's say this one. And you can now share this to your students in Google Meet. Once you share this, you automatically share the two pages. So let's get the link. Before you copy the link, make sure to change the setting into anyone with link can view and change, assign them as editors so they can collaborate. So this is the collaboration feature of the Jamboard. Now copy link, done. Go to Google Meet. Now in the chat box, paste it, send it. As a teacher, you may opt to use the dual list. So click on Google Meet. So that will be the tab that will be separated. Okay, click half half. Choose your Jamboard. I have created a student account. Three rows of two. While I'm doing it on my end, the Jamboard gets updated real time. If you want another activity, you can ask them to go ahead and click the second page. Click select before they drag the pictures. Otherwise, it will write on it. So, select. Okay, there you go. Apple. Okay, now if you have another student, his icon will also be on a different color. Let's go to Zightboard. So, if you want to access this, you go to app.zightboard.com. It also works on desktop and iPad. There is no downloadable app for Zightboard, but you can access it on the web. All you have to do is log in. This is unique to Zightboard. You can insert video, PDF files, and even MP3, not just images. It also has zoom effect. It has lock and unlock option. I'll show that to you later. It also has shape recognition. Let's say you want to draw a circle and it's not perfect. It automatically smoothens it up. It also has a collaboration tool just like the Jamboard and it has a presentation mode meaning you can embed it in a website. So let's take a look at the live Zightboard. Since I have an account already, it did not ask me to log in. We'd click on the hamburger button, create new board, and title it Multi Practice. Please do not check this one, the view only mode, otherwise, they won't be able to edit it and create new. Let's try this one first the pen so we can zoom that out. Let's Blank. The feature of this zoom is it just makes it bigger or smaller. Okay, of course the eraser. And you also have the sticky note for reminders. Remember in Jamboard, it allows you to have multiple pages in one board. This one doesn't have multiple pages. However, when you click on this one, it will give you the option to lock all. Okay, it means it's locking all this whiteboard and when you move it, it brings you to another clear board. Now, if you want to revert back, press go home. One insert feature that is not in Jamboard or Canvas is you can upload a PDF file. So, apart from image or video, you can also upload a PDF file. So now for this one, it will need a premium account in order for you to choose which of pages of the PDF you want to show. So since I don't have the premium account, it won't allow me. It will just 
show the first page. If you want to make a, an image smaller, you have to click on the lens. And also, you can add a photo by taking a picture of it. So let's try camera. Okay. Take a picture. And there you go. So if you want to save it, you can export it into your computer using different extension files. Unlike uh, Jamboard which saves on your drive, even if you don't export it into your computer, it also saves it here in your account. And for collaboration purposes, invite people and you just copy the link. By default, the setting will be for public and anyone with the link can access you. So you don't have to change anything on this one. You can now share it in Google Meet. We go to our Google Meet. Okay, enter. Again, if you want to see your Google Meet tab and your whiteboard on one monitor, then you have to use the dual less extension. And there you go. Go to your Zite board. So let me try accessing the link. Okay, they will be asked to log in, but they can just click the, the, the single sign on and choose their email address. 3 times 2 equals 6. Now, as you can see, it doesn't refresh by itself. It's, it's also real time, but you have to keep on clicking the refresh button. As you can see, this part here wasn't here a while ago. This was from the student. Okay, so if you use this sideboard, please keep on clicking refresh in order for you to update the board. The sideboard has two many features, but overall, I think I like the Jamboard best, mainly because of its smooth interface and user-friendly navigation. But then again, it depends on the purpose of your instruction. Whatever whiteboard you want to use, it will always depend on your context of instruction and your preference. So thank you for watching. I hope this helped you decide which board to use and hope to see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.